Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will try to solve a problem on the growth rate uh, in a Cobb Douglas production function for an economy. The question is like this. Consider an economy with a Cobb Douglas type of production function with two inputs. We are being given a Cobb Douglas production function with two inputs, capital and labor. Okay. Also, we are being given the share of capital and labor in total output or respectively 1 by 4 and 3 by 4. Okay. The rate of growth of capital and labor are respectively 8% and 4%. That means the capital and labor grows at 8% and 4% per annum. Also, the question uh, tells us neutral technical progress, that is the total uh, factor productivity, takes at a rate of 4% per annum. Okay, the rate of growth of the total factor productivity is 4% per annum. We have to find the growth rate of output per annum for this economy, the options are given as 5%, 8%, 9%, or 7%. Okay, so basically, this is the Cobb Douglas production function, and we want to find the growth rate of the economy from this very production function. Okay, so let us say what we are being given. Let me write first, I will write the Cobb Douglas production function. Cobb Douglas production function is that is y is equal to a k to the power alpha l to the power beta okay where uh, a is the neutral technical progress what we call the total factor productivity that very change in the output of an economy which is not explained by capital and labor okay and here alpha and beta are the output elasticities of uh, capital and labor respectively okay so first we need what we are being given here what we need to do first i will show you in detail how we how we will derive the growth equation for this very economy for that what we need to do we just write the Cobb dollars production function for the economy okay first step is to take the log on both sides we will take the logarithm on both sides okay if we take log on both sides so this will become let me uh, write it here so we have log of y is equal to uh, log of a plus this alpha log of k plus this beta of log of l okay we are taking the logarithm on both sides and you know the logarithm rules it is very simple you can check my videos on logarithm also okay so first is uh, first step was to take the logarithm on both sides after that what we need to do we will just take the differentials of this very uh, function okay so taking differentials now what is the derivative of log of y that is simply y sorry 1 over y uh, 1 over y dy since we are taking the differentials so we get uh, 1 over y is the derivative of log of y with respect to dy is equal to what is the derivative of log of a it will be also 1 over a times del a uh, plus we have alpha now what is the log of k simple it is a uh, 1 over k del k plus uh, uh, we have beta the log of l will be uh, 1 over l 1 over l del l okay first we take the differentials on both sides after that what will we do we will just write it like this we have del y upon y is equal to del a upon a uh, plus alpha del k upon k plus beta del l del l upon l okay now coming to the question what we are being given we were told that the share of capital and labor are uh, in the total output are respectively 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 that means share of capital is this alpha so this alpha is being given as 1 upon 4 okay and share of uh, labor is given as 3 upon 4 okay and what does this del y upon uh, y tells us it actually tells us the growth of the economy okay and this del uh, del a upon a tells us the growth rate of the neutral technical progress what we call the total factor productivity this del k upon k shows the growth rate of the capital this del l upon l shows us the growth rate of labor okay we just need to see what we are being given here 
so we have this alpha and beta here after that the rate of growth of capital and labor are eight percent and four percent okay that means this very term here this very term is four percent because this shows the growth rate of sorry uh, this is the uh, growth rate of the neck uh, what you call the new uh, total factor product to be actually uh, the growth rate of capital is eight percent so here we have this very terms eight percent okay this is eight percent so we let i uh, change my uh, position and what is del l upon l this is the growth rate of labor which is given as four percent okay also the growth rate of uh, the neutral technical progress is four percent that means this very thing is four percent okay what we need to do now we just need to plug the values here okay that means del y upon y shows growth rate of output which we need to find will be equal to del a upon a neutral technical progress which is uh, given us as four percent so i will write here four percent plus the value of alpha is one by four okay share of capital uh, uh, times the growth rate of capital is eight percent plus share of labor share of labor is given as three by four upon the growth rate of labor that is four percent okay now if we just write it like this growth rate of output is given by del y upon y change in the output or uh, divided by the total output okay so we have here four percent plus four ones are four twos are we get here two percent plus this four and four gets cancelled so we are left with three percent that means growth rate of output so percent uh, change in our growth rate growth rate will be equal to four percent plus two percent plus three percent this comes out to be uh what we got here two this three gets cancelled so we get four percent plus two is six percent six percent plus three percent comes out to be nine percent okay i hope i have made the calculation right so i will just uh, see again whether i have made some mistake here so growth rate of uh, growth rate of capital was uh, 8% okay so 1 by 4 we get here 4 4 ones are 4 twos are 8 and uh, neutral te 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 technical progress was 4% okay so i hope i made the whole calculation right so that this tells us that growth rate uh, in this very economy will be 9%. Okay, and this uh, 4%, what we call this A, this is called the total factor productivity. It explains that portion of the growth which is not explained by uh, these very uh, capital and labor. And we also call it the solo uh, residual. Okay, I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you.